Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. I go into here like this and then... Like if I right click, I, literally all I've done is I've just upgraded those. So I can destroy that one completely and then I've got a little bit more space here. Uh, the robot design right there. I've got that one, which I actually want to use. Basic ore crushing. Uh, that's one that I'm going to want to use again soon. But what we can do is if you go into Blueprint Library right here. Game Blueprints. No, all. I don't have any Blueprints. It's not very helpful. Uh, blueprint Book. There. Right. I make a blueprint book, open the blueprint book like that, and then take that one and drop that one in. Take that one and drop that one in. Use shift and mouse wheel up or down to change the active blueprint. So I can drop my two blueprints into there, and now they only take up one space. Makes life a little bit easier, doesn't it? An upgrade planner in here like that. I'm, I'm literally, I can take an upgrade planner and I can upgrade anything I want. Or I can just not use it. There are other ways you can do. Alt U. There's other things you can do with the upgrades. I'm not going to worry about them at the moment. Right, that's got me a little bit of space there, which I'm going to need for getting rid of all of this coal and coal-related paraphernalia. Let's go back to here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I wanted to pick up the bits of coal I left behind there on the ground. I think that's all of them. Right. Pick up that and that. So, where is this coal coming? Right. I have got coal coming out onto the line over here. That's coming down that way. It's going on to there. And then it was coming down, it's coming in through this way. I basically, I need to, well, I've, I've got coal up there that we're using. But that's coming in from this side. And then it's splitting down, it's going to there. It doesn't need to go any further than that. This one over this side, that one's done. I don't need that one to go any further. So I don't need the coal to come off. Actually, I do. I need it, like, it, it goes to there, and then it gets used in those three. But it doesn't need to go any further than that. And that's actually the only three that are using it. So I could get rid of that entirely. All of the belts up here, that, that could be gone. And then I'm just, that coal then can just stay on there. And it's heading up north. Being used up there. If I put those as three different factories. But those factories there... I can't change those over to larger ones, so they can actually stay as they are. It's not going to hurt. And that filter can just stay on there. And it's, it's again, it's not hurting. I've got plenty of coal. It's not like having that bit sitting on a belt is going to cause any problems. So we can leave that exactly as it is. So there's that bit gone. Next, I will go to here and I'll remove that. And then get rid of all of this is the in feed to this side of this factory. So I run down here now and take out all of that. Down here and then those grey circuits, they've got to come down here so that they can go off and be used elsewhere in the system. So we, we are going to need those to be used elsewhere. Cannot insert basic data core. Player's inventory is full. Of course it is. It's because I've got just a few other bits. So resistors and all sorts here. Let's, let's see if we can ditch some of these resistors. Uh, I'll put those in there and those. And then I'll go into this one and I'll get rid of those. There's two stacks gone. And then I want to get rid of this coal I'm carrying. Well, that's easy enough. I can take that up. No, I'll just go over to here. I can ditch the coal I'm carrying in here. And I can put a bit into that one as well. There's some coal gone. I'm running around with a load of steel and paper, copper, landfill, different factories. A uh, hundred mining drills. What am I going to do with a hundred mining drills? I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to need them. 
Let's see if we got enough gotten rid of for a minute. I'm just going to rip everything out now. And I go all the way up through here and take all of this lot out. I should probably, and all of those, take out everything. Yeah, cannot insert data analyzer. Inventory full. Inventory is fast filling up with all sorts of stuff that we don't want in here. But what about you? You don't take the data analyzers, do you? So who's using these data analyzers? Is anybody using these data analyzers? Uh, oh, actually, you use them. I could just go and put the data analyzers in over here. There, there's 97 of those. There you go. I have 97 data analyzers. And then I got some gray science analyzers. Pretty sure that is... Oh, no, I, I got a little bit more space for those. I can rip up all of that lot as well. Because I got more of these basic ones. And then go up through here. Remove that lot. I'll stop there. I won't take any more out for a minute. I'll come down here and take out those. And now I've run out of space again. So we go back over here and we look into this one. And we dump in Grey Science Analyzers in there. We go into U and we dump in those 72. And that'll do for a second. Turrets. Gun turrets. I'm running around with gun turrets. What do I need those for? I don't. Try picking these up, shall we? Right. That's everything picked up there. Let's go down here to the chest again. Gun turrets. I can get rid of them. And dump them. That's good. And then warehouses, storage chests, chemical plants. You know what? Let's ditch all of these for a second. Storage chests, yes. Mining drills, yes. The assembling machine, one, yes. We'll get rid of those. Right, there's, there's a few extra bits gotten rid of. We'll come back to that chest and pick those back up a little bit later. And next, I've got a... Right, this line down here. I'm going to get rid of that from this point. It's going to come out down to there. Like that. And I'm also going to want to scrap this line. So I got coal coming in here. I got coal coming off of there. Now that coal there goes up here. And then stops. It goes no further than that. So I will run down here. Removing all of this belt. And that underground belt down there. And then I will go through here. So I'm, if I get rid of that one and that one as well, just so that I know where the outfeeds have got to go, that can go here. Then that coal there that's sitting on that line, where is that coming from? That's coming from over here and going onto this belt. It doesn't need to go any further than that. That can go back that way like that. Actually, the coal is being taken off of this belt from over here. So I don't want any of this one. All the way along here, this one can be removed. And up there as well. Plus remove that and over to there. That's as far as we want to go. And then I've got some solder here somewhere. There. Solder mixture. Get rid of that. Right. So that's that bit all out of the way and then I can run down there and I'm just going to pick everything up off of the belt here for a minute like that and I've now run out of space cannot insert coal you've gotten greedy again and you've now got no room that's easy enough I can just run up here and I can get rid of a little bit of it there and a little bit of it there and I can come back down here and get rid of the rest and then I've also got to go and ditch all of this solder that I'm carting around. So let's pick you up there. That one and that one. And then I've got solder coming in here. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to try and change that belt around. I'm just going to leave that as it is. So we, I know that I've got the solder coming through because it's splitting off in different places down here. Um, I know that I don't actually want to split it out and move it elsewhere. It's just going to go onto there. And then go no further than that. Now, 
I also want to... Why is it... Ooh, oh, dear. No, that's not going on the wrong side. For a minute, I thought that one was feeding out onto the wrong side of the belt, but it's not. It's actually all right. This one here, however, if that goes down that way and joins in, that would end up being on the wrong side of the belt over there. This is just feeding through as fast as it can. It's got to it's got to just build back up again. That's all. That's just got to build back up again. So where are we using solder over here? I'm using solder on this line right in here, which I want to get rid of. I don't want to be carting that around. I've also got resistors there that I can get rid of, and I've got some you know, red circuits don't need on there. I'm making red circuits here. So let's put seven of those out on there. That's got me another little bit of space. Right, that's all good. And then we run back over here. Okay, next on the list. Don't get rid of that lot. That's got to stay there. Now we come back up through here and we get rid of this line here. That's got to be gone. Uh, that one can come out. So can you and you. Let's get rid of them. And now I go up through here and I get rid of these. No further than that. Uh, power poles, they can come out, plus the rest of these bits. And then finally those right there. Okay, this is looking a little bit more promising. So I need to start making, once again, grey science analyzers, which come up here and then they split right there. And the grey science analyzers run down this way. And then the data cores and the analyzers, they go on up that way. So I need the grey science analyzers to come down here. And this is where they stop. They go no further than that. So we've got to build those. I need more of these. Fa Assembly machine one. I need more of that. Excuse me. I'm making those. And I'm actually going to do this with assembly machine two. We're going to use number twos for these. So let me go and grab a stack of them. And then I can start making some of the bigger ones. So one, two stacks of those. And the electronics machines. Are we going to be using any of those? Let's go into here. And it is this lot here. So it's those that I'm going to want to make. Craft in there. And no, I can't use the electronics machines for those. Um, What about the... Gray science analyzer craft again. No, I can't. So we are going to want them. I'm going to need the construction frame too. I've got a collection of those being made now. They're out over this way where our steel is. So we want to run down over to the steel over here. And drop down onto that one. And we'll take a full stack and a little bit besides. And now I've got no room. So let's just have the one full stack, shall we? As you know, I can take two stacks of those. I'll take two full stacks of them. And I can go into here, and now I can start making these. So if I go five like that... Right, I'm using up various materials that I've got. What have I run out of? Ah! Electronics blocks! i got to make 15 of those for the last five. No, actually. i got quite a few of them that are needing to make 15 electronics blocks. Cancel some of these. There. I'll go and get some more electronics blocks and that'll make life a little bit easier. And it'll give me a whole load of yellows. I've got the electronics blocks. They're over this way. We run over here. I just need to grab these off the line. If I was to actually put down a chest and start scooping these up, that would be a lot easier for me. Like the, the amount of time that I spend running backwards and forwards and grabbing these electronics blocks is quite ridiculous. So if I had a chest and I just put the chest down and I gathered up electronics blocks continuously without fail... I could go to them whenever I needed them. Right now, I have 177 electronics blocks. That'll probably do. Right, I'm making... I got 15. That makes 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That makes 50 of those. 
That's good. I'll do one more lot there. So that's going to put them down to 49 assembly machines. And in here, I'm not making any, I'm not you having to make any electronics blocks. Apart from those four on that little stack. But that's fine. I don't mind about that. And now we can run back over here. So I've got yellow factories aplenty coming in now. So I will take those. We will clear that one. Middle mouse button to clear. And then we go over this way. So to start off with, we need to go right back to square one now. And we need to be making... Now those are, those are already being made. Those are being made up there. We've got three little factories making them. That's the data analyzer thingy mahoozits, them, data analyzers. We need the grey science analyzers being made down through here. And I was making those going up that way. So I want to go... What do I need to make a grey science analyzer? Let's, let's first have a look at that. Grey science. Two iron plates, one grey circuit board, and a data analyzer. So I've got those two coming in here, and then i got that one coming in there. So you need to go straight up this way, like that, and over here. You can actually go straight down there. And I'll run you in a line down there like that. And then this line here will go there, and I'll run another line down there like that i will go no further and then if i look in here the other thing that i want to craft is going to be the basic data core right there that's three iron plates two gray circuit boards so it would technically be better if the iron plates and the circuit boards are on the same belt so what are those doing why have i got the gray science and them together is that Oh, that's the red ones, isn't it? Um, that's that's for making the red ones. I forgot about them. I've lifted those out as well, haven't I? Uh, craft, yes. I need a red circuit board. Grey science. And again, I need the data analyzer. So that one is... That's why that one is over there. So I need to swap these over a bit. It's great that it's coming down that way. But I kind of want the iron to go on to this one over here. That would make life a little bit easier for us. So what we will do is if I get rid of that belt right there, I will then put you in here like this. Uh, that one is going to have a filter on it, and I'm going to filter out from here the data analyzers like that. So then if I drop that one in, I will no longer have the iron on this top belt. So I will go back over to the top belt now and remove all of the iron on that top belt down to there right that's cleaned that one up so i now want to put this iron onto this belt here that i've just set going that way so it's going to go down by one it's going to go in that way and then i'm going to need to step it underneath and it'll go out over there and that's going to be on the second belt there so i've got those two together which means that i can then use them for both of the items that i want to make are you all with me so far? Good, excellent. I'm glad you're following along. There will be a test afterwards. Uh, so, let's go back to... No, I don't want you. I'm not interested in you. I want the grey science analyzer craft. Two iron plates, a grey circuit board, a data analyzer. Let's do those first. Put you across like that. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do five of these. You know what? This line here, we'll get rid of that. That can all be gotten rid of. And that line down there can be gotten rid of as well. Perfect. Right. So, if I'm going to go into here, I want to make the grey science analyzer, the basic data core, that takes two other items... Those two are non-related. I don't stack one item into the next item. This one here, however, I want a grey science analyzer going into that one. But I'm also wanting grey science analyzers to go elsewhere. So a direct feed is not helpful. And we just need it down the line from where we're working. So I would like to put... Well, both of those need to be working, and then I need to have another one working afterwards. So you can stay there, and then we can go 
One, two, three, four, like that. Right, down here a little bit further. Remove that iron. Down here. That iron I do need to take on with me. This over here, that was that one there. Like doing all sorts of careful wiggles and getting that around. I got no room in my inventory for that lot. <laughs> I got no hope of doing anything with that. Uh, I got a lot of steel and extra bits that I'm carting around. I've also got these data analyzers. I got all of these. Let's let's try and get rid of some of this rubbish, shall we? Well, we can start off by getting rid of some of that up here. Uh, Gray science is the first ones that I want to make. I'll make those right there. So we got um, that one, two, three, four, and five. And then this down here is going to be the basic data cores. Copy that. Paste into there. I'm going to want another one down there. We'll deal with that one in a minute. So if I go back into here, I can then take Gray Science Analyzer. I can drop them all in there. I can take 200 of those and I can put them in there. And I can put 32 of those in there and 95 of them in there. That'll keep them busy for a minute. And I can drop into here and I get rid of all the rest of the data analyzers. And it's given me just a tiny bit of breathing room. And then I can also go down to here. Get rid of those basic data cores. There's a bit more breathing room. Uh, let's not worry about any of the rest of it for a second. Okay. Uh, that means that I can pick up this lot here. A whole load of pulp. Which I'm then going to need to ditch as quickly as I've picked it up. Just want to pick it all up first. Get rid of this stuff. Right. And then you... Uh, you're going underneath there. We had a very complicated sort of mess with this one, didn't we? Uh, that one can come out there. And then you're simply going to go down that way. You're going to head down here as low as you... How low can you go? That's the question right there. That one's going to go across that way. I'll lift that bit. You'll go up, over, down. Right, perfect. That's done in there. I then want to go back this way and ditch this pulp that I'm carting around, which is being used up. No. Where on earth is that being used? Oh, it gets turned into paper. There, that's what we want. Right, 69 of those being turned into paper. That's all of them. I don't need any more of those. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's run back over this way. And get back on with this little... I've got one more right there. I, I want to get rid of that one. There is a way. I gone and brought that all the way over and then I didn't need it, did I? It was something about... I can't remember now. All right, I want the cellulose pulp. If I do that, you press Z. It drops it onto the line like that. Right, well, it's, it's gotten rid of. We, we, we know that we're not going to do anything with it at the moment. For now, we've ditched it. We got rid of it. We don't need it. I got those coming down here. I've got these circuits here that I'm going to want. That I'm not doing anything with right now. So I need to split these out and get them down here. And I'm going to want them elsewhere as well. So let's go there like that. And now I've got these items here all being made. Uh, you. You can now back up to that point right there. And go no further than that. And that means then you get to do that and come down there instead. Get to that point so then we can lift this bit out of the way like that. And we'll have a look in here. Let's give you 48 of those and 48 of those. Just so that I can maintain a little bit of respectful space on my person. So we go... I need two feeding in on each of these, don't I? So we go one, two, uh, one, two, and one, two, and then one, two, like that. And then this one here requires only one to feed in across there. And then they both need only one feeding out all the way up through. So I will put the one in all the way up through. And next, I want that one to be a long feed. So in and out on both of them like that. Excellent. 
and then copy it out on the second one down on each of these like that. That's perfect. You don't need to make any other changes going up through there. So then I can go and put a belt going up here. And that belt will go all the way up like that. Because I do actually want both of those to come up together. I, ne I ne actually need them to be the same item coming up through there. So what we're going to do to make that work is which side do I want the data core? I'd say I want the data uh, I don't think it actually matters. So you here, that one is going to drop back like that. So are you and you and you and you like that. And then that one will go out onto the opposite side of the belt. That's all good. Then we get up to here and we go like that. That belt there goes across this way and up into there. That's the wrong way round. Okay, let's change this over. You're going to go here. Copy that over and then you are going to go copy. Paste those down through there so then they go on to the correct side. So now when you look at it, we've got the data core going on the far side of the belt, which is the correct side of the belt to keep on with everything that we've got happening up there already, what's already existing. We don't want to change that around. So long as we don't mess that around too much, there shouldn't be any serious repercussions to anything that we're doing here. So now we can run down and start doing the infeed cycle on here. Which is that's right there, isn't it? You're on. Actually, you go there like that. That's where you go, and then that one goes there. So then we can do the same on here. Put you to that one. Put you to that one. Put you to that one there. And if we have a look at this, I've got no filters on that one, and I will need to put a filter on that one because I don't need the data core to be going down through there. But that's now working perfectly. I've got the data cores going where they should be. And I've got the science analyzers going where they should be as well. And I have the science analyzers up here. Like, I've already got a, I've got a complicated filter on here already. So I don't need that bit. That can go. It can just stay as it is. That can go back into there like that. And then I can look in here. I've got science analyzers there and I've got data cores there like that right that's those three all done and it was really easy wasn't it I hope you were following along there will be a test afterwards like I said before I'm gonna get rid of that one a second and then I'm going to get another one and I'm gonna pop that one down there like that and I'm going to run up here and I'm going to dump another one there. We will put a power line onto that one. And we'll run down here and we'll put a power line onto that one. So that is joined into the network. And then what we'll do is we will put one of those there. Why have I got two? Shouldn't be two. And there will be one there to join in as well. So that's connected everything up. And it's cleared a little tiny bit of space in here as well, which is good. That's what we want. So, uh, the next thing I need to do is make these red circuits. So, to make the red circuits... I don't even need to use that one, do I? Um, we need to go into here. We just want to have a look at that. Red circuit, grey science analyzer, data analyzer. So, I got the grey science analyzer. It's already coming up here. I don't need to pull them off here to go anywhere. I pulled them off previously because I needed to mix. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.